And on Fridays, we do the Friday Weekend Review. So Monday was a uh, pseudo holiday here. Oh, we have a comment. Look, I can click it. Oh, you have comments. Wendy's Good. here. This is, this Yay. is giving me a hard time. Hi, Wendy. Thank How you for doing, letting Wendy? us know that yes. comments are working today. Right, so I can move my phone out <laughs> That's very helpful. Um, hey, Kasha. Good morning. Yep, good morning. On Monday, it was a pseudo holiday here in the States, and so we did not fast because Russ has a rule that we do not fast on holidays. So <laughs> we didn't fast on Monday. Uh, we did fast on Thursday this week, though. We did. So Monday, we came on and told you about the speaking engagement that I did on Saturday, this past Saturday. Sandra's here. Good morning. I oh, know. Good morning, Day offs are all good, That's right? That's awesome. Um, They're coming in hot and fast. They maybe. are. It's good. Oh, I need to be paying attention. Yes. Wendy, Wendy you're welcome. Yay, morning. thank you. Laura's here, too. Hi, Laura. Good. Happy Friday to you. Yes. So um, on Saturday, I spoke a little bit about the pleasure trap and how um, so many people, when they want to go plant-based, they say... I know that eating plant-based is ideal, but I don't like vegetables. Right. So I talked about that on Saturday, and we are working on getting that video up on the website for members. And if you are not a member of the Whole Food Muscle Club, you can go to wholefoodmuscleclub.com and become a member. So that video is going to go up. Yes, I'm waiting for it. So we taped it, but they also taped it. So I'm kind of hoping to get both and kind of mesh them together right. so we have this really super duper... I want to eat raisins. Yes, you want to eat raisins. <laughs> uh, but if they don't get it to us by next week, then by the end of the week, I will just, just put, put our version up. So yeah. Stay tuned. So that, that, will, uh, that will come up um, soon. Um, then also, the other thing, I don't know if you've put this up yet or not, but our, our live Q&A webinar. It's up. Oh. As a matter of fact, for members, good point. Tell them that. So I changed our, our Q&A uh, page for members to where it used to be just links and you click it, and now the videos are all there. Because so, we were having drama with the links. Yeah, so. and sometimes it worked, sometimes they didn't. So I just put them all on the page. Um, and they're, they're an easy download because they're actually just, you know, links. So, I mean, um, embedded code. It's not actually video where it's heavy. They download. don't care. I know. I get too detailed. <laughs> they don't care. Anyway, it looks good. And it looks awesome. So you can just scroll down to whichever one you missed and you want to watch. So those of you who are members of the Whole Food Muscle Club, the uh, Q&A from Tuesday um, is up. So if you missed it, you can go watch that. And just remember that when you watch it on replay through the system, that we broadcast in, it's not as great as when you watch it on the website. We have a high def because we use our high def camera to uh, record them. Are you done now? I think I'm okay. done. But, no, <laughs> no, okay. Okay. We're done now. Do we say good morning to Carol? Good, good morning, morning, Carol. Carol. Um, so on Tuesday, I told you about this great little pamphlet that is put out by PCRM.org. That's the uh, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. And they have a, a great thing about kids' nutrition. And I talked a little bit about. Um, that I read to you about how they talk about not having food fights with your children, which is not fighting about food, but getting your children to right. just eat. So I definitely would recommend you, if you um, have children or you have grandchildren, if you're interested in that, pop over to the Whole Food Muscle group here on Facebook and um, watch that video. It'll be up mm -hmm. um, for uh, about a week. And just a quick note on that, what I do like that it, that it mentions in there is how instead of having fights with children, only have good food in the house. And then let them make the choice. So, you know, kids always They get to... some control, right. but they get control within right. the boundaries. So I really like that. Yeah. So that's a really good idea. And this, I don't know, I'm, I have several of these because I picked them up at an event we were at. But um, th I think they're available for free or very cheaply on the website if right. you go to PCR. At the very least, a PDF download. So. Yeah. So if you're interested in that, I did send it to um, my, my sister and my sister-in-law. Because I was like, here, you have kids. Have one of these. Right. So we talked about that on Tuesday. Um, on Wednesday, we talked to you about the article that came out in the New York Times saying, oh, red meat's not so bad for you. And we talked about how that is complete fallacy and ridiculousness. And the guy that actually did the report is um, on the payroll for uh, the beef industry. And so... Anybody there shocked, raised your hand. Right? I don't see any hands raised. You don't see any hands raised? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So, and the unfortunate thing is the article about, oh, red meat's okay, went viral and it was all over the place. But then several days later, when the New York Times printed the article saying, oh, wait, this guy may have ties to Conflict. the industry that he didn't, uh, yeah. didn't actually tell us about, that one kind of got buried. Mm -hmm. So that's really frustrating to me uh, when that happens. My kids are eating your oatmeal this morning. Yay! Awesome. So are we. <laughs> we are going to be as well, obviously, because that's what we eat every morning. Right. Love it that they're eating oatmeal. That is awesome. Um, but yeah, that we talked about on... So if you want to know more details about why that um, article 
isn't relevant and the science that they did was not really science and hear me go on a rant about how I hate that they're allowed to call anything science even when it's not really science, go watch the Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday video. Exactly. Um, and yesterday we talked to you about something that sh it shocked me, it shouldn't have, but it shocked me when I learned about it. And I want to talk to it a little bit today because um, it's important, but I definitely encourage you to go watch yesterday's video in the Whole Food Muscle Group. And this, the thing we talked about was the Healthcare Effectiveness, Effectiveness Data Information Set, which is abbreviated H-E-D-I-S. I encourage you to watch our video and to, to Google that if you are at all um, in, involved with a doctor with prescriptions. Lynn we do here. not, Lynn. Uh, we do not eat before we work out. No. Um, she kind of picked that habit up for me, I guess, because for 40 plus years, I've never eaten before working out. Yeah. Um, and even on fasting days, we don't right. eat before we Matter work of fact, out. I fasted yesterday, and I didn't go to the gym till 1230, mm -hmm. something like that. So I was well into my fast, and I tell you, I had more energy working out than I think I've had in a long time. So Yeah, yeah. and the, um, we can go on a, a tangent here a minute. Um, the, the, there's a misnomer that you have to eat before you work out. Humans aren't actually designed that way. Um, when we lived on the Serengeti, it wasn't like, oh, I have to go hunt. Oh, wait, I should have something to eat before I go. That's not the way it worked. You ate when food was available. And it does take a little bit to teach your body to, to work out in a fasted state effectively because it, your body doesn't want to burn fat. We're mm -hmm. fat storing machines. But if you um, give your body a chance, it will learn to just burn fat when you work out and you'll be fine. So we, we don't eat before we work out at all. All right, back to the uh, healthcare effectiveness data information set. Basically, it's something where they, um, they, they measure how doctors are prescribing drugs and they collect it via surveys and medical charts and insurance claims and office visits and procedures. And it, they have a drug utilization section where they wanna see that doctors are utilizing drugs appropriate quotas right I mean, exactly. that's what it is unless you're diabetic I tend to get lows if I don't eat if you're diabetic that yeah that's yes. a separate a exactly. separate thing hopefully your diabetes is getting better with eating plant-based exactly. um, if you're type 2 if you're type 1 it, it that's can, also a different that's a different thing, thing or even too. type one and a half right those are different things too so um, the drug util utilization um, aspect what they're trying to do is say you know are doctors prescribing drugs as often as they can not necessarily when they should, but as often as they can. And so what you end up with is people who get prescriptions, especially for things like statins, which are to lower cholesterol, as preventative. Like their blood, their bloods are, their blood numbers are fine, everything's fine, but you know, you're a certain age, here, have a prescription. And we're getting people now asking us questions, like they've gone to the doctor, their numbers are, are fantastic, not good, but fantastic, and their doctors still want to put them on a statin. And they're does that sound right? No, it does not sound right. Did it Question. Be Definitely question that. Be and we're not own, telling you to ignore your doctor. Right. We're not. But you need to be your own advocate. You need to ask questions. And if, if they're saying it's just preventative, my question would be preventative of what? I mean, right. it's all good. I mean, what am I preventing here? Right, exactly. So if you um, have a doctor who wants to give you a preventative um, prescription of any kind, mm -hmm. um, question that. And I would encourage you to... Uh, to look into the healthcare effectiveness data and information set just so you understand um, kind of what's going on with that. There is some conflict of interest in the way that that data set is run because the group that runs it also makes their money by accrediting businesses or doctor's offices. So there, yeah, it's read about it. Go watch the video if you want more details because I could get on a soapbox and we'll be here for 20 minutes. But go into the Whole Food Muscle group and watch the video we did yesterday for more details about um, the healthcare effectiveness data. I'm hesitant to set. use the term. Uh, what is it? Pid pro quo? What is it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to say. That's going on with, well, okay, never mind. <laughs> Quid pro quo, I think, is what it is, where you know, you do for me and I do for you type things. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely check that out if your doctor ever says that you need a, 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 preve a preventative, not for anything useful. Mm -hmm. um, and I gave you the example in yesterday's video about my thyroid and how my, my, the way that my thyroid is managed would give my doctor a demerit because of this thing if right. she was on right. it. So and what you can always say is if their answer to you is the science says, ask them to show you the yeah, science. Yeah, so tell them and don't be sarcastic. Just say, oh, you know what? I'd love to read that science before I make this move. Can you tell me how I can get to it? Because There's, science is, should be easy for people to read. I mean, right. that's what we do. Look mm -hmm. at the science. So, 
Anything else you want to I add? I think for that's them? it. Have I forgotten to tell them anything today? I don't think so. All right, we're gonna go eat oatmeal. Okay. So oh, wait, wait to see if I have a comment. Oh, oh, oh. Lynn. My husband total cholesterol was 117, and they wanted to put him on. Yes, exactly. Right. Yes. <sighs> Ask the question. Tell me you want to see the science and read it. Um, and if it's something you don't understand, send it to us, and we'll see if we can decipher for you. I know we can. But <laughs> All right, we're going to start our weekend. All right, so with that, we'll say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, Have a guys. good one. We'll see you on Monday. 